फिर आप भी कुछ पूछ सकते हैं फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट विद डॉक्टर क्रांति एन एम एन रिसर्च साइंटिस्ट एंड डायरेक्टर ऑफ सी आई सी आर तो डॉक्टर क्रांति इट इज़ टाइम फॉर ग्रोवर्स एंड मैन्युफैक्चर टू एक्सपेक्ट मोर फ्रॉम अ कॉटन सीड एंड द टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री हैज़ प्रिसाइज रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ क्वालिटी Kindly share in brief about the release of cotton seed varieties addressing the specific fiber qualities such as uh, staple length or strength or uh, micro nap. Thank you very much. I am speaking on behalf of all, uh, on behalf of uh, like all my scientist colleagues. Um, first of all, I. I'd like uh, everyone to understand uh, wither ban cotton, and then the quality, of course. Not many people know that cotton is a crop which actually loves drought. It is known as a zero phytic crop. It is not a water-loving crop. Excess water is troublesome for it. The other matches. It's about uh, this region, which is called wither. I've been here for the past 22 years. Uh, in fact, wither falls in a rainfall zone. It is known as the assured rainfall zone. Ideally speaking, we should be having the best of yields here in this region because of the sunlight. Sunlight is not a limitation, and cotton you find the most appropriate season in this region. Now, in terms of quality, India is probably the only country in the world. where all the four cultivated species of cotton can be cultivated and are being cultivated you simply ask me if the textile industry says that we want for example something let's say like 80 lakh bales of extra long staple cotton long staple cotton short staple cotton medium staple cotton with a particular kind of micro nair and strength it is possible india is probably the only country with uh, something like 167 varieties with a wide spectrum of quality the world's best cotton variety with premium quality it is called suvin was released by my institute for the first time in the world in india with the best ever fiber traits best ever i'm saying even recently just before about 6 7 years we released one more variety with the best ever traits in the hirsutum which is actually known as american cotton with about 30 mm and 25 gtex you can't really break it easily and with the best micro nair of something like about 4 to 4.2 so i i think it would be grossly wrong to underestimate the scientific strengths and the terrain and about quality if i were to say about wither certainly not wither can do everything wither now i'm i'm just talking in terms of uh, the yields on an average with a uh, harvest something like about 8 to 9 quintals of seed cotton and uh, out of which we get about 280 to 300 kilograms of fiber this is per hectare my question to myself to my colleagues and to everyone in wither is can we double this can we double the yield can we triple the yield can we take the yield to four times can be can we take the yield to five times now am i getting into a dreamy mode like uh, like someone saying it is possible to uh, you know like have a waterway in the nagnala am i sounding something like that but friends believe me to double the yield to triple the yield to take it four times is quite a possibility in wither what am i talking about what am i saying is what i'm saying is that there are countries Uh, in fact mr daga took the example of brazil where they are harvesting 1500 kilograms per hectare as their average so from this 300 uh, kg if i am talking about 1500 that is five times if they can do under the rain fed conditions can't we do in vidarbha entire of brazil is uh, in fact cotton in brazil is cultivated completely under rain fed conditions can we do it in vidarbha is a big question mark and i am saying we can do it probably if there are more questions i'll get into the details sure now coming to the next question actually i was going to take one question each but you have uh, started i mean hit the nail on the head like uh, about the cotton yield so crop yield as we discussed is the ultimate factor for for the prosperity or the survival of the farming uh, sector 
you have been promoting uh, high density plantation or hdp that you call in the recent times so uh, omitting the question like is it equally useful for irrigated and rain fed conditions or what varieties do you propose or what quantity of seeds do you assure in the next two to three years so let us get down to the bare fact that when can we see the result in maharashtra with hdp how long do you think it will take well high density planting systems is uh, it's it's my pet topic and for the past 5 years ever since i became the director i've been speaking about it it's an alternative system it is uh, actually one of my friends uh, in in one of those scientific meetings he simply said he said angrez bharat chhod ke england chale gaye par peter ko piche chhod gaye and his contention that was that all of us are peters now why i am saying this also there is a reason to it what is this peter peter is it is about many of us who suffer from this colonial hangover the hangover is in terms of science of what we have been doing all these years and in my view if i were to diagnose the problems of cotton in india why is it that our national average why is it that our national average is just something like 500 kilograms per hectare we rank in 80 cotton growing countries we rank somewhere at about 32nd to 33rd in countries in terms of productivity in terms of yield that is for all of us to understand now why high density planting high density planting is a concept like i said it's a kind of alternative thinking alternative thinking now i'm 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 just giving this problem to you in india the average number of plants per hectare it is just about 10000 we plant cotton at a spacing of 1 meter by 1 meter so that gives you 10 to 11000 plants per hectare if each plant is giving you 40 bowls each bowl gives you fiber of something like about 4 grams if each plant is giving you 40 40 40 bowls you will be getting 4 quintals per hectare now on the other hand the world average is at least 1 lakh plants per hectare that is 10 times more than india there are like i said 80 cotton growing countries 79 of them except india india is 10000 rest of the world it is minimum it is 1 lakh so what does it mean it only means that instead of this 40 if you are able to get 4 bowls per plant it is equivalent to those yields now that essentially means a farmer will have to get just only about 4 bowls per plant under rain fed conditions in any kind of soil is it a possibility or not if i am asking you that a farmer has to get something like 100 bowls per plant is it difficult or if he has to get just about 4 to 8 bowls per plant is this difficult my answer is getting 4 bowls i've been asking many farmers and everyone says it is quite easy under high density planting that is the concept which the world follows everybody has been doing it so i would say let me be peter if i have to copy somebody but then this is not about copying it is about what is tailor made to the country high density planting what we are doing is we are taking 2 lakh plants per hectare the chinese do it at 3 lakh plants per hectare the chinese now what happens is when you are taking 2 lakh plants per hectare even if you get one bowl per plant calculate what you will get is 8 quintals per hectare which is the average of wither just two bowls per plant with 2 lakh plants per hectare what you need is a kind of a variety that has to be bred for this purpose and we have done it after these 5 years so now when is the seed going to be available on a trial basis for the past 3 years with the existing varieties we have gone to wither it's a very tough challenge friends it's not quite easy but we have done it in their fields the only thing is they had to do a planting at a spacing of 40 cm by 10 cm right now they are doing it at 90 by 90 so all of a sudden i'm i'm asking them 40 cm by 10 cm and i'm i'm sure you can understand the difficulty but with this there is a great possibility of a revolution one because these varieties which can produce about 4 to 5 bowls you tell me the quality i will give you the quality because it is very very easy in terms of the plant breeding if i have to breed a hybrid which gives me 100 bowls it is very difficult to get a quality because you need the numbers you need and they mature at a different time so it's a big uh, 
I mean, it's a kind of a great difficulty. So I see a lot of future. Seeds are already available in Maharashtra. We are uh, taking it forward, and probably in the next five years, we should be through with it. Yeah, Dr. Gandhi, you did not answer the specific question was how long will we see the change in Maharashtra from 328 to say at least, at least the national level of 521? Five years from now, if we succeed in taking this alternative thinking that is from the hybrid back to the variety. Friends, the advantage with a variety is that the farmers can reuse the seed. With a hybrid, they cannot. So what I would like to see, what I'd love to see in Vidarbha is an early maturing variety which matures just exactly in five months, which we have, with the best quality fiber which we have. And then the next, what I'm going to say is that it's the reusable seed. So within five years, if you are able to change that tack into a variety, with BT, if it is possible, yes, of course, Vidarbha will be producing nothing less than 1,500 kilogram. Uh, 1,500 kilogram will come to 50 quintals of seed cotton per hectare. Thank you, Dr. Kranti. I earnestly request you to remove that if and make it possible for Maharashtra. That is what we are all here for because there will be many ifs and buts since many years. And since 1995 or 96, since I attended my first conference, yield has been a consistent topic that we are so poor in the yields and still 20 years down the line we are talking the same language so yes of course uh, if everything would have been in my hands if my no, name was not your, but you are in the right place unlike any of us you are in the right place and you are Certainly. educated uh, for this uh, uh, from the science <laughs> point i mean from the science perspective i can assure everyone but my name is not narendra modi <laughs> no but you have him now in in your confidence thank you dr